Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be working on these meat cases. And there's already been a technician out here. He said the sorter valve was bad. We're just going to verify and replace it. So the system we're working on is 2B, 2Boy. As you can see, they're 44 degrees, 46. They're running high. And it's been trending like that for a couple days now. So here it is on top of the sword valve, 69 pounds, which converts to 40 SST, which is not going to get us at 25 degrees that we want. You can see the condition of the valve, the sword valve on top of the head is just completely just rusted out, probably lost its charge. Under the valve, we're running at suction pressure right here, 33, 34 pounds, which that's why I'm trying to get the sword to run off since it runs off the float. Yeah, it's not a good shape. Looks like we're gonna have to replace this. Energized, so it's not holding back any pressure. So, let's pump it down and uh, get to work. So, the uh, liquid's been off for a little bit. You can see it almost reached suction pressure. Not quite there yet. 70 pounds. I'm almost there towards the suction, which I'm still holding back pressure on it. And here's my new valve, the Sword 20. It's regulated from 0 to 75 pounds, so I can only adjust it up to 75 pounds. Brand new, beautiful thing. Look at it. So if you've seen my previous video, how to pump down a system, you know you had to manual all the compressors on, get as low as you can possible. So right here, 12 pounds. Both the manual on. Still going down, 22 pounds. Both liquid and suction. It's taking a little bit longer, so I'm going to give you one of those Wayne World stream sequence. And here you go. Valve's off. So we got the old one out. Cut it out. Out of the way. Here's the old one. I put some information there so you can take a screenshot and see how the valve works. The diagram of it, which each little part of the sword valve does and how it can be adjusted. Here it is in pieces. I took it apart so you can see how it actually looks like. You got the two pins right there. Almost looks like a TXV valve right there. The head of it. Little diaphragm. Just almost like a power head right there. It's all rusted out. And right there, the diagram right there showing you what part of it is. And then the inside of it, you can see a little spring right there. There it is. And here's my wonderful assistant right here. He's about 6'2", a Virgo. He likes long walks on the farm, so we're going to call him the goat man. He is married, so sorry ladies. Look at him go to town. Wrapped up the valves both in the bottom, the ball valve, and the valve itself, so we won't overheat it too much. Yeah, yeah look at him go to work. Now, he's, as he's doing that, you always want to have cell boss on you, so when he needs it, right away you can just hand him the stick. So you won't have to be moving around with the rig. And there it is, the smoking gun. It's all done. Top and bottom, all welded up. There's a valve, the new one, if it can just focus. There you go. Sora 20. Just checking for leaks. Always make sure that you're not leaking when you leave. Top and bottom, everything that you weld, you gotta spray it down. Make sure you have no leaks what's at all. It looks good. So here it is, put back together, up and running. And now we're running at suction pressure on top of the valve, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we just have to head over to the controller and verify that that is what the rack is running right now. So earlier we were in the calculations to see if it was using 2B as part of the float system, which it is. So we're going to leave it wide open. So check the rack pressure. Yep, 34 pounds. Exactly it. So now we have to make sure the valve holds, so right now it's energized. Gonna go shut it off. There's the goat man. 
So 2D, turn it off and make sure the pressure rises. So when it goes into defrost, well, I don't want it to bleed by and uh, it, all the cases just ice up. So, turned off. Pressure is rising as you can see. So we're all good, it is holding pressure. So I'm gonna have my assistant turn it back on with the toggle switch. You're gonna hear it click with the Energize. There you go, it's on. And you can see the pressure drop right now. It's all good. You always wanna check your work. Double or triple check it. Just make sure you get no callbacks, nobody behind you that you thought you were good. You always have to check your work. Your job is your name and you wanna keep your name good. So, meat cases right now, 35 degrees, still not what we wanted, but it's been down for a while. You can see it drop down. One last look at it, all back together. And 27 degrees. So, we're good with that. Everything works. We already double checked. It will hold in defrost and it will turn back on without bleeding by. Now to check out the cases, yep, 25, 26 degrees, we're all set. Meets back on. So, first one for the year. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, there's the cast of today's video. Shout out to the goat man, he's a man.